Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. From our extreme right, we have Ronald Thomas. Ron is a producer here at MNN, and he has a program called Big Talk. Is uh, on on at one thirty on one p.m. on Thursday. Yeah. Big talk. So any, anything else you'd like to tell us about your program, Ron? What kind of topics do you discuss? I know we have new viewers every day, so feel free to tell us a little more. Well, people want to talk about the subjects you shouldn't really talk about, <laughs> religion and politics. And right, OK. So you, sort of at the end of your program, they can actually agree to disagree. They don't yeah. have to agree right. on everything. Yeah. That's good. So feel free, if you have any controversial topics you'd like to talk about, feel free. Come on Ron's program, Big Talk, every Thursday, 1 p.m., Channel Call 56. In. Ron Thomas. And you can get uh, get in touch with Ron through our program, through Yoga Express. And I'll, I'll send it over to you if there are any emails. Great. We'll pass it on. Talisa Michela, welcome back to the show, my dear. Thank you, Banut, for allowing me to be here. Um, that's it? That's it. I'm like, I'm so quiet today. <laughs> yeah, I'm very quiet today. I'm I sorry. know, I see that. What happened? Nothing. Just like the weather is, is coming into spring. And You're like, introverting I'm, too much. I am very quiet. I have Love Train on, you can catch that on YouTube. YouTube is Love Train 27. I have mm -hmm. several projects coming up over the, um, the course of time, but I don't want to put my foot in my mouth nice. to over jump my guns until right. I know exactly what projects are occurring. Okay. Whenever you're ready, tell us about it. Yes, yes, and so um, that's basically it. Other than stretching yesterday was amazing, helping Ron is really funny. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Ron, you really funny. stuck it out, thank you. <laughs> he really is dead, and um, it's, it's an honor to be here with everyone else. It's really good. It's an honor to have you back, Talisa. It's really a pleasure to watch you stretch, get into the postures. And we, I know I will be using you uh, and Josiane as my guide to see how deep I can take myself. I'm not going to compete with you guys. And there are several postures at Indra, too. It's very inspiring to watch her as well, especially the cow face where you get your legs right over. Ron, you and I need to stay together. We need to keep practicing every day till we you know, do the best we can with as our As long body. as you don't leave me. No. <laughs> we're, we're, we're together. Stay <laughs> on. Hang in there. Josiane Hurd, Josiane, you were talking about crystals. And today, again, we have this, we've had this mini discussion about crystals. So mm -hmm. tell us, how, how do you feel the energy? What, what happens when you touch those crystals? Um, it's difficult to describe. It's just a feeling of feeling good. It's feel like right. a, to me, it's like a cleansing effect. The crystal. It's, a, it's the reason why I love to touch them. I love right. to have them around my computer. I just love to to look at them. It is something. It's Do you not, study it's natural. Do you study these crystals? Bit. It's something natural. It's something okay. very natural, and I. Um, it's totally it's from the earth. It, right. It's. Um, Do you say they vibrate? Uh, yeah, they do. They the do. crystals vibrate, or you feel a no, vibration? No, it's a feeling. It's right. A, it's a okay. Feeling called cosmic vibrate. vibrations. It's just a vibration. It's just right. a feeling that you get, and it's, it's speaking right. to you. Kind of. Yeah. It's a feel-good feeling. It's a feel-good feeling. Yeah. yeah. Hey, it's not just endorphins that make you feel good. Yeah. Come to Josiane, and she'll teach you how to, <laughs> how, well, what would you say, how to vibrate with the crystals. No, I'm not. <laughs> I seriously mean it. I've, I've heard of cosmic vibrations, too. Yeah. I've heard, in India, we have, Indra, everything is from the earth. Heard. Everything is from the earth. Right. As the a, natural stones, Yes, right? as a yeah. feeling, as a, as a sort of um, charisma, as a kind of, um, Anything that's I've heard natural. it has something to do with the magnetic waves yes. in those crystals, right? Yes. In India, we have something called Navratan. Navrat, Nav is nine, Ratan is stones, mm -hmm. nine gemstones. 
And each of those gemstones refer to one planet. Of course, now we have discovered that one of those planets doesn't exist, so that's yeah, a different thing. But the, at the the well, now apparently one of those didn't. Is it which was a planet that this size? It does, it does it does exist. It's a dwarf Nibiru. planet. It's called Nibiru. Is that right? Nibiru? Okay, yes. I, I just thought and one it's of the planets totally was out of our solar system and it's supposed to come back in 2012. Oh, uh, I can't wait for because that. Another year? No, 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 it's pretty scary. So there's it a tenth one? Time. Really? Yeah. No. We, we don't want it. <laughs> Indra Dudna, to my extreme left. Indra, besides this, you have another dimension to your, uh, uh, to you, which is you have a family catering business. Yes, I have a family catering business. We, um, we are located in Queens, Ozone Park, Queens. Uh, we plan weddings, parties. You have a website? Yes, it's majesticmarquise.com. Okay, M Majestic Marquise. M-A-J-E-S-T-I-C-M-A-R-Q-U-I-S-E.com. The Marquise is the hard part. The Majestic, I think I can handle. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, we plan all kinds of parties, different kinds of parties. Too. And you plan weddings, too. Weddings as well. And Ron, when do you think you're getting married? <laughs> You have someone to plan your wedding for you. <laughs> if I ask the least of mine. Uh-oh, we're on air. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, welcome back to the show, Thank Indra. You. This Thank is, you it's for really good. It's I'm, a pleasure I'm, to have you. I'm also an, an actress. I'm working right now with improv with casting director Barry Shapiro. Right. And that's also exciting. So that's they're both exciting parts of my life. But this is also exciting to add yoga to my life. I'm glad. I'm glad to you yeah. release these endorphins so that I can rest at night. And you've actually <laughs> learned to sleep well at night yes. too. <laughs> it it does do a lot of things. I mean, I'm not saying yoga is the end of everything. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not like this is going to do everything for us, but it's just one of the different things that helps us stay together, right. helps us stay centered. Find our balance. Find our balance mm -hmm. in life. Okay, yesterday we took our viewers through some back bends. Today we'll do forward folds to help you balance your spine. Basically, you want to make sure that your spine feels nice and relaxed. So every time you do a back bend in your everyday stretching, you, whenever you do a back bend, especially if it's very intense, try and do a forward fold. We're taking, it, taking you through these back bends and forward folds episode by episode. But at home, you want to balance every back bend with a forward fold whenever you can. So today we'll do a lot of forward folds, which will also involve stretching of the back. Uh, before we proceed, if I haven't remembered, Jabari Osaze, our director, thank you so much. You're flying solo, and we appreciate that you're there for us today. Kristen Kofa is responsible for these amazing lights in the back, the system, the lighting system right here, and the sounds as well. So thank you, Kristen, for being there for us as well. Uh, you do have a lot of support for you. Besides this program, we have a website, www.yogaexpress.com. We live in North America. We do not know how to spell. It's Yoga Express without the E, Y-O-G-A-X-P-R-E-S-S. -S. We also have a, a, my third title, Yoga Secrets, uh, which has 10 ailment-specific cards inside, a postcard, and a fridge magnet to help you stay with your practice. Let's all stand up. We're going to do a few forward folds today. So the forward folds will in involve a lot of stretching in the back of the legs as well as stretching of the spinal extensor. So basically your spine gets a beautiful release as well. So here's what we're going to do. Here are my, my little cheat sheet. Get that right there. <coughs> this time I'm okay. I'm going to hide behind Talisa. I don't know which camera is going to pick us up. <laughs> Place heels are together, toes slightly apart, palms in front of your chest. Raise your elbows. So when you lift your elbows up, you're actually staying in the moment. You're staying nice and alert. Inhale, lift your arms overhead. Tilt your pelvis forward, wiggle your biceps back just a little bit. Exhale, fold from the hip. Keep your back nice and straight. If your palms are not going to touch, if your fingers are not going to touch your toes today, that's okay. Please hold your postures. Now if your palms are all the way down, just like Talisa, Josian, and Indra have got it all the way down, that, oh my God, and Ron too, you don't need a block. What am I doing here? Okay, that's great. So if you can get your fingers up to your toes, that's wonderful. You should feel a wonderful stretch in the back of your legs. You should also feel a beautiful compression of the lower abdomen on your upper thighs. Hold it right there. Inhale, press your palms together. Let's come up with nice straight back. Exhale and release. When am I going to learn? 
I keep getting my arms out all the way, but that's okay, I'm still getting my stretch. We're gonna do another forward fold. The posture we just came into, came out of is called Padahasta. Padahasta is hands to feet. Now we're gonna take you through a posture called Prasarita Padottanasana, or oh, Prasarita is widespread. So bring your legs out about three and a half, maybe even four feet. If you're very tall, Ron, that's good. Now make sure you put your brakes on. So bring your toes in. So you want to make sure that'll help you, keep you from slipping. You don't want to slip in this posture. The uh, school that I came from used to call this ugras, and ugra means fierce. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Ron, if you're feeling a little blindsided, that's good. Watch the monitor. Mm -hmm. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing in. Clasp your palms together. Exhale, fold from the hip. Keep your back nice and straight. I'm gonna stagger myself so we don't hit each other. Now, if your palms are already, now bring your palms between your feet. Now keep exhaling and dip. Now this is the time to use your block. First I'm gonna try. And then if you're a little tired today, what you want to do is bring your block in front of you, so somewhere close to your hands, and you want to place it first, try it at the lowest orientation. Touch the top of your head to the block. Now if that's not enough for you today, oh actually this one is the lowest. If the lowest is not enough for you today, bring it to midpoint. If that's not enough, bring it to the highest point. Make sure that the top of your head rests on the block. Whatever you do, make the connection. Then when you're ready, press with your palms, wiggle your feet a little closer till it's safe to come up, till it's safe to take your palms off of the ground. Place your palms together. Inhale, let's come up with a nice straight back. Exhale and release. Let's bring our feet closer together. We're supposed to wiggle them together so it looks more graceful. I don't think I really remember to do that. We're gonna fold over into a very simple forward fold called ragdoll or Uttan Asan. Ragdoll, yeah, actually schools in North America call it ragdoll because you just suspend your whole body. He your heels are together, toes slightly apart. Inhale the palms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Take your arms all the way overhead. Cross over, hold on to your opposite elbows. Now once you've made that connection, wiggle your biceps behind your ears, exhale, fold from the hip. This is one of the few times we do not insist that you make the connection because you already have made the connection by holding on to your opposite elbows. You just need to suspend your whole body. So you should feel a beautiful stretch in the back of your body, the whole back of the body, the spinal extensors, your sciatic nerves, the hamstrings in the back of the legs. Everything gets a beautiful release. Hold it, let's inhale, come up with a straight back. I can hear that sigh, exhale and release. Now, I know, Ron, you're very new, but I think this is a posture you would have enjoyed this, right? Mm -hmm. How did it feel? Felt good in the back, right? Yeah. Okay. Felt amazing. Now, what? <laughs> I wanted to actually keep an eye on you so we could have just transitioned to the next one, but let's keep going now. Okay. Take, inhale, bring your arms all the way overhead, palms together, and then all the way overhead. Exhale, fold over, place your palms about 18 inches in front of your feet on the mat, Take your left leg back, and then the right leg goes back. Now this, you want to keep your feet about hip width apart, and dip your head between your biceps. You want to try and keep your heels on the floor. If your heels do not touch the ground today, or the mat, you, are, you can place something under your heels. Whatever you do, mm. make the connection. Feel that? And because these postures are done in isolation, we are not gonna to transition to another posture. Very gently, we're gonna walk our feet to our hands to come out of this posture. This is not very comfortable. Inhale, let's come up. Exhale and release. Let's come, let's come into seated position. We're going, all gonna sit on our heels. We're gonna come into a posture called rabbit posture. So you can see the card is too big. And Ron, uh, Ron, this again, if you want to, if you, you still have a bad knee, right? Yeah. Do you want to sit on the brick? 
Sit on that. Keep that between you your legs in the back. You can have mine as well. Does he want two weeks? Yeah, he's very tall, right? Do you, you need another one? Yeah. yeah. Keep it sideways. Keep it flat at its lowest point. Then sit on that brick. That's it. Is that too high for you? You're okay with that? You don't want to fall off. Let's make sure that you're comfortable. That's it. Good. So what you want to do is keep it right there and sit on that. So you're very tall. So sit down first. You want to be comfortable. That's it. But your knee sh needs to be bent. If your knee can handle it, take it back. Good. You okay? I don't have the flexibility. No, no. It's not the question of flexibility. I think you've hurt your knee, so you want to be careful. So you just yeah. don't worry. That's okay. You want to... Just sit as comfortable as whatever helps. <laughs> okay, let's do a forward fold. Keep your legs extended. We'll do a forward fold. That's fine. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to exhale and fold from the hip. Inhale, take your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing in. Talisa, are you in our world? <laughs> exhale and fold. <laughs> What's that? Inhale, engage your low back muscles, press with your palms, and let's come up. Exhale, and release. Ron, don't go to sleep on us. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's good. That's a nice adaptation. <laughs> this is what happens. Our body decides when we need an adaptation. Let's extend the left leg out, Janu Sisha, head to knee. Bend the right leg at the knee and attach the sole of your right foot to the inside of the upper left thigh. Flex your left foot. So you want to make sure the left, the sole of the left foot is nice and up facing outward. And now turn your upper body to face the extended leg. Inhale your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing in. Exhale and fold from the hip. Now, if, if you can get your hands all the way over your fi a foot, the way Talisa has them, she's ready to paint her nails now. She's all set right there. And uh, Josian's got them over as well. Make sure that you flex your foot. Indra, that's good, you're doing well. Keep, lead with your chest and keep pulling the big toe or your whole foot to bring yourself forward. I'm gonna keep trying. If the top, if your forehead or the top of your head touches your knee, that's wonderful. But if you don't quite make it today, that's okay. You should still feel a stretch in the back of your legs. Anyone here, uh, does everyone feel the back of the legs? Mm -hmm. Can you feel the stretch? Mm -hmm. Good. We also should feel a wonderful stretch in the back of the spine. So that's a beautiful release for the spine as well. I feel in it in my knee. How do you have your knee? Oh, the right knee. That's because you've injured yourself. Right. When you fold over, you feel a little more stretch. Uh -huh. Just bring your knee, uh, foot out just a little more oh, if I you want to. Yeah, and place the brick under your knee if you want. Anything that will not yeah. stress you out too much. And just keep exhaling. Make sure that you come back. Tighten the lower abdominal region and fold over mm -hmm. as much as you can. Yeah. Okay. Inhale. Let's come up. Bring your palms together. Let's come up. Exhale and release. Hi, Derek. Extend the right leg out. Flex your right foot, bend your left leg at the knee, attach the sole of your left foot to the inside of your upper right thigh. You want to turn your body to face, <laughs> Indra is all set to go, turn your upper body to face the extended leg. Inhale the arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep with us, Ron. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead. Now this knee is okay, so exhale and fold. Besides the stretching of the hamstrings, the sciatic nerves, and your spinal extensors, we should also feel a wonderful compression of the lower abdomen on the upper right thigh. Now, some of you may feel more of a stretch in the back than the compacting in the front, but I feel the front as well because I think I'm well padded. But if you don't feel the front of the body, if you don't feel your uh, lower abdomen touching your upper thigh, you want to hold on to your foot and pull yourself forward. That'll help you bring your body, upper body deeper into the posture. Press your palms together. Inhale, let's come up with a nice straight back. 
extend the left leg out flex both your feet I'm gonna bring up my arms down now this time I'm gonna try and take my palms up from the center because that way I won't hit anyone and I'll be a little more mindful of you guys as well plus maybe I'll internalize a little more inhale the arms up take your arms all the way up Paschimottanasan, bird beak. Exhale, fold from the hip. Now, if your hands or your palms are all the way over your feet, that's wonderful. Just hold on and keep pulling yourself even deeper. Now, if you're able to hold on to your big toes the way I'm trying, that's giving you a good massage for the eyes as well because the nerves that end in your big toe also they uh, begin at the eyes, so they lead to the eyes. So you are energizing your eye muscles as well. Also, holding onto my big toe gives me a good grip so I can pull my body forward. Now this time you should feel a wonderful compression of the whole of the lower abdomen on your upper thighs, as well as a beautiful spinal stretch. The whole of the back gets a beautiful release. Inhale, press with your palms, let's come up. Exhale and release. We're going to come, Ron, this is going to be a little bit uh, tight for you because of your knee, but make your adaptation. We're going to sit on our knees and we're going to fold over. So let's sit. If you need to use the block, yeah. be mindful of your body because I know you've hurt your knee, so be very careful. We're going to sit on our knees. So your feet, the tops of your feet are flat on the ground. Now, <clears throat> Ron, here's what you want to do. Bring your feet, your uh, knees out. Place the block under your buttocks, and you want to sit on that. So I'm going to help you. Let's all get in position. I'm going to help you. Yeah. All right. That's it. No, no, that's OK. <laughs> you know. OK, great. Now, sit down. Sit on that to make sure you have something to rest on. Yeah? You OK? Actually, let me put it sideways. That's it. Sit down. Sit down, you're ready. That's it, good. That's, That's enough. Stretch. That's all you need. You're need to do that. <laughs> feeling that stretch, right? Yeah. You're gonna go over, you'll feel it even more now. Now, just hang in there. Give it a, give it your best shot. If if you're in pain, you want to come out of it. Yeah. But keep trying. Inhale the arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down, keep inhaling. Take your arms all the way overhead. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually no, we are in, I apologize. That's okay, we'll get into this too. We already five minutes, thank you, Jabari. Exhale and fold. I have a feeling we did this posture, did yeah. we? We did. Okay, that's all right. What we're going to do is do a little adaptation. I apologize. Where you are, wherever all of you are with your arms extended, take your arms. Stay where you are as far as your body's concerned. Take your arms behind you. And this is going to be a little difficult after you fold it over. So maybe you want to ease off and then try to hold on to the opposite elbows. We'll do this posture one more time the correct yes. way. Maha Mudra. Inhale, let's come up. And this time we're gonna try and adjust ourselves. I made a mistake and I called out to a posture we'd already done. So we're gonna make a little bit of an adaptation. Josie, and you do the reverse namaste as well, right? Yes, I did. I just so do did you, and you just I did, did. I know, yes. but I didn't get a chance to show them. So Josie and Talisa, do you want to turn? Yeah. You and Talisa, if you don't mind, just, yeah, that's good. And do you want to also show them how you just place your palms and then you can, you know, if you want, you can turn back. But I just want them to see how you can keep your palms together behind. It's called a reverse namaste. What we're going to do is we're going to exhale and fold, keep your back nice and straight. And Ron, you don't want to keep your palms the way uh, Josine and Talisa have. Just take your hands behind you. Hold on to the opposite elbows. Good. Keep your legs extended. That's fine. Exhale and fold from the hip as much as you can. Now, if your forehead touches the floor, that's wonderful. If it doesn't, you should still feel a beautiful stretch in the back of your body. Inhale, come up with a nice straight back. Exhale and release. We probably have a couple of minutes, so what we're going to do is get a few stretches. Not, not many of the prone postures will help us fall over because a lot of the prone postures are more back bent. So we're going to lie on our back. We have one, two, the plow, happy baby. Happy baby. Yeah, oh, sounds I good, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's all come down on our back. We're oh, gonna I get into that. a posture. I need some crystals <laughs> to make me a happy but baby. Ron, don't get too comfortable because you're gonna do something called the plow. Now you don't have to yeah. do the plow. I just want you to lift your legs down. off yeah. of the floor. That's fine. 
Okay, Talisa, are you with us, my dear? Yes, I'm Don't forget to give me your email Sorry. before you leave. That's all right. And um, I'll forward tonight and forward later. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to get into a posture called the plow. Place your, to make it a little easier for yourself, if you're very comfortable in the plow and you know how to get into it, you have very strong low back muscles, that's great. If you want to make some adaptations as I'm going to be doing, place your palms under your buttocks. That gives me a little more leverage. And then extend your legs out in front of you. We want to be able to stretch the back of the body. Flex your feet. Inhale. Lift your legs. So the, the breath should take your legs up. Inhale. Lift your legs off of the floor. And Ron, I want you to stay here. Don't go all the way over okay. just yet. Now the rest of us are going to try to keep inhaling. Take your legs all the way overhead. Now Josian and Talisa are already there. Indra and I are going to try and catch up. Now, if your toes touch the floor, that's wonderful. If they don't, that's perfectly okay. Give it your best shot. You just want to make sure that you stretch the back of your body. And actually, this would be a wonderful time to get into shoulder turn, but we're going to close with that. Exhale, very gently. Do not move your head from side to side. Very gently, lower your buttocks. Try to come down. Keep your head down. Very gracefully, let's come into happy baby. Place both your palms on the soles of your feet from the inside and press your knees down to the floor. <coughs> Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you've seen the picture of Lord Krishna, right? That's where the expression yes. came, happy baby. Now do what Josian's doing. You want to just move from side to side, give yourself a nice sacral massage. The idea is to feel a release in the back of your body, in your spine. Now we're going to just hug ourselves for a wonderful job. Oh, that also feels. <laughs> You're always after the fish. You love fish, right? Yeah, no, no, that's so good fish is a. The plow. Okay, we'll do that. But I was hoping to do also shoulder stand, so we'll do that too. You're right. Mm -hmm. After the plow, the fish has a good balance. Mm -hmm. So hug yourself and then do a beautiful half sacral massage. You want to move from side to side. I'm going to do a bit of a semicircle. On behalf of Indra Dudna, Josian Hurd, Talisa Michela, and Ronald Thomas, we'd like to thank our director as well, Jabari Osaze, and Kristen Kofa, our facilitator, for making this episode happen. Mm. Uh, this is Banu Suresh signing off. You are watching Yoga Express. Now let's get into the fish, extend your legs, and we'll close with the shoulder stand. Now, palms under the buttocks, feet are extended, feet are flexed, legs are extended. Inhale, peel your chest off of the ground. It's a good counter posture to the plow posture. Ooh, we can all see ourselves in the monitor. Looks good. <laughs> <laughs> that made Ron turn. Mm -hmm. Release, relax your head. Uh -huh.